Hey guys, Matt Dieterich here. Thanks for joining us on another video. Today is a super special one because we're in North Central Pennsylvania working on a time-lapse video for the Smithsonian Museum system. Super stoked to work on this one. So we got the system set up because their goal was an epic Holy Grail style shoot. So sunset through the middle of the night through sunrise again. So we're talking about a 12 to 13 hour long time-lapse single cut is what they wanted. So we're gonna try to capture that tonight. I have it already shooting. I have it set up with two dew heaters wrapped around the lens to make sure that hopefully the dew does not cause the images to be ruined. Of course, dew would totally kill all the footage. And then I have a deep cycle battery that is taking all the camera power and it's also making sure that the dew heaters have ample power throughout the night. So memory cards, of course, this thing is gonna shoot like 5,000 photographs over the course of the next 12, 13 hours. So we're gonna let this thing run. I'm staying right here by it. I'm gonna set up my tent. I'm gonna camp right by it to make sure it goes as smoothly as possible, I hope. But besides that, it's clear and it's gonna be like 30 degrees out tonight. So I need to get a little bit warmer gear on, but stay tuned guys, this is gonna be an awesome one. Michelin man dressed up in all these layers but it's upper 30s right now the moon just rose I just woke up from a couple hour nap and we got Orion hanging out and the Pleiades are finally starting to get a little bit higher in the sky that's one of the big asterisms that the Smithsonian really wants to capture into the frame so it's gonna come up uh, through Zenith and go into the 14 millimeter lens that I have just static on the tripod for that time lapse. So that's not going to happen probably for another two hours. So we're a little over, we're getting close to halfway done with the time lapse. It's almost one in the morning now. <laughs> so it's coming along. I don't think there's any dew. I felt the dew heater on the lens and it's really warm. So it's definitely uh, going to keep any dew off. And, Right now, that's going pretty good. It's still shooting 10 second exposures and uh, a lot to learn with that new technique with, cam uh, with Sony in camera. So we'll see how it turns out, but right now, at least it's still shooting away right now, which is good. exactly what uh, what I was expecting but a little bit after I woke up the first time at about 1 maybe 1 30 I double checked because I was like wait a second it seems like it's f starting to get foggy and sure enough just massive bank of fog <laughs> just started forming uh, on this plateau where this farm is at so Luckily, I could still see the stars, and hopefully the dew heaters are still running. They still, again, feel warm, which is good news. Um, one of my other cameras is still running, and the images look pretty decent. So now the Pleiades are just passing over the meridian and starting to actually come into the field of view. It's almost 4 in the morning now, so we have a couple hours left until astronomical 
darkness ends and uh, hopefully it stays this way because just this little bit of fog is manageable but if it gets more foggy than this then it's going to be kind of a kind of a bummer but right now it's less foggy than it was before so i'm happy about that <laughs> Well, morning guys, <laughs> it's seven in the morning now, but everything is covered in ice. It got down to 30 degrees and I got like two hours of sleep, but the dew heaters are still rocking on the lens. I'm just gonna let it go for maybe another half hour to 40 minutes just to get it a little bit more of the sunrise data and then done. <laughs> but uh, still plenty of fog out here in the farm field but um, I'm excited to play back some of the footage and hopefully it looks good, so we'll see.